Howdy y'all, your host Ro. Welcome back to Love Again. Playing a little bit more of the Dark Pictures anthology The Devil and Me today. Right now we're playing as Jamie, and uh, we're supposed to go back to the lobby after we found the weird murder tape and got the power restored. So, uh, that's all we can do. Please like, comment, subscribe, share the video. Tell me what you think in the comment section down below. I'll see you guys and uh, what we're going to do, figure it out. How are we looking, Jamie? Little electrical drama, but we're about good to go. This looks great. Very gaslight. Mm, if we had a grip with some foil, I could get a good flicker effect going. This would be fine. I just got a bit more to do once Kate's standing there. Shouldn't be more than a few minutes. Hey, thanks for that stuff you said at dinner. It was nice to hear. We're all on the same side. Sometimes we forget. What the hell? You still have your microphone and that lights up. I I I can't get the door open. Get me out. It's okay. We're right here. Calm down, Erin. It's all right. It was 181. We're here, Aaron. Just try to stay calm. Count your breath. One, two, three, in. One, two, three, out. We need to break through this thing. Guys, I, I, I can't. Go and look for something to knock this door down. Me and Mark will try and force it open. Oh, that was a loud vibration. Who's there? I didn't think attacking would have helped when we're already freaked out and can't see. Just breathe. Just breathe. You're okay now. You're safe. What? Did you see him? Come on. <laughs> he... he was... somebody was right there. In there with me. Aaron, it's just a dummy. No, it was not a dummy. He... he had a hat on, like H.H. H. Holmes. Charles, you're working her to death. 
Now she's hallucinating shit from the show? I did not... Nothing bad happened, Erin. You're okay. No one is in there. Let's all just calm down, get Erin back to her room for a rest. I'm not fucking tired. Let's go. Come on, Erin. First time with the curator. I think Erin's shown signs of serious pluck, wouldn't you say? Now, where's our wayward host, Mr. Dumet? Apparently, he's left the island. How very rude not to stay for dinner. Charlie managed to rally the troops, though, and a good thing. For the road ahead is full of challenges. I can only observe, and it can be frustrating to watch in some ways I envy you I only record events you get to shape them you'd better get back to things before one of our friends makes a poor choice on their own Let's just all take a deep breath and not lose our minds. No, Charles. We're done. This has been weird every step of the way, and now it's getting scary. Oh, relax. I'm serious. Everything about this is off. Kills me to admit it, but Kate is right. Somebody tried to attack Aaron. We don't know that's what actually happened. I know what I saw. In the dark. You think I'm making this up? Everyone relax, OK? Just give me a second to think. Excuse you. And exit stage left, our oh-so-confident and sure leader. What was that? Charlie is thinking, which looks a lot like a temper tantrum. Maybe he's right. If we don't crush this episode, we're all screwed. Are you kidding me? What? I'm just I've saying. I've been waiting on you for ages to actually make a decision about something. Anything. And now this is when you suddenly choose to take a stand? Sorry. Maybe I'm crazy. But if Aaron says somebody came for her, I believe her. We're not safe here. It was just a dummy. You think I'm lying? Really? I think maybe you're just confused about what you saw in the dark. I know what I saw. Right. <sighs> Here's the plan. We've already got a plan. It's leaving. Just listen. We cannot jump to conclusions. I'm going to go and find Dumet and get clear on everything. Everything is going to be fine, okay? And we're he gonna get left. The we need. He didn't show for dinner. What makes you think you can find him now? A positive attitude. You should try it sometime. Bravo, Charles. Your delusions make for such great plans. Dumet left. I saw it, remember? Maybe he's back now. Maybe he's not. Would it kill you to think positively just once? I guess as far as Charlie ideas go, it's not the worst he's ever had. It's not even the worst idea I've had this evening. Don't go patting yourself on the back. I still think your priorities are fucked. Whatever. I'm going. I'm coming with you. Wait. Do you have to go? I'll be right back. Promise. Just stay put so I know where to find you, okay? I don't care what he says. I'm done. I'm getting my shit together. Kate. I'm leaving, Mark. You coming or not? Aaron saw someone. Okay, you're right. Sorry. It's just Charlie said... We're not safe here. That outweighs having a damn job. You're right. Let's go, Aaron. Everything's gonna be okay. Wait here. Can't you just stay here while I pack up my stuff? I don't want to waste any time. I'm right around the corner. Let's all be quick. We'll be right back. Promise. No, don't. Uh, sorry, just still freaked out. Can you leave it open so you guys can hear me? Of course. Y'all shouldn't split up at all, ever. You work better as a team holding hands, going through the hallway. Okay, genius. Where are we going to look first for Dumet? I'm not looking for Dumet. I'm scouting for shots. If he pops up along the way, great. Jesus. 
You really don't care about anything else, do you? Of course I care. Tell that to Kate. You know as well as I do, if we're set up and a camera is rolling, she'll want to be in front of it. <sighs> Asshole. This go up. Now it's still at 180. What happened here? I... No idea. Somebody doesn't like flowers. Oh. They keep Charlie away from hooks. I wonder if that groundskeeper would know where the mat went. Bills, Fishers, Davis, Halls. No one came after Wait, what? us. What the hell? Where are you? Huh? No power. What were you going on how huh? what to? Hey, there's something down there. There's a part over here. Hey, I found Dumet's business card. Incident murder cast lobby day, slow pain through lobby drinking atmosphere, go for 360 instead. Series dissolves between key exhibits, details ending front desk. Hand reaches into the frame, rings the doorbell. There's go, this one utter garbage, I see criticism, I better not suggest. Hilt up, reveal Kate. Kate, this sound right to you, to camera, World's Fair Hotel, hotel like no other. Always ran red with blood, and sheets were washed in the mother's tears. The price of the room came at the cost of your life, and then the owner was a liar, a fraud, or quite possibly the most prolific murder in American history. Transposed from imagery over the lines, FX of screams and sobbing. Kate turns away from the desk, exits frame. Cut to on Kate, a slow pull back as she walks through the lobby. Kate continued. We've already seen the bloody rain come to an end in the Philadelphia courtroom where H. H. Holmes was handed the same sentence he inflicted. On so many others, death, and in 1895, his hotel, Myrtle Castle, became known as the gutted, was gutted in the act of the suspected arson before the building itself was torn down in 1938, co-signing another part of Holmes' infamy into the history, or so it seemed. Does our audience understand co-signing? Does our crew understand co-signing? Kate stops, camera continues to pull back, revealing the space around her. Kate continued, location 2 B.C. This looks like I've stepped back to the Xander days of 1893, but I can assure you I'm safe and sound in present-day Illinois, where the team of talented production designers have undertaken a most remarkable act of recreation. In a recreation of the infamous building where noted interpreter Triple H expert Grantham DeMont has. It continues, you can almost hear the desperate screams from the unfortunate guests trapped here, doomed to become Holmes' next victim, so without further ado, Let's step back in time, maybe 
Ugh. Maybe see if we can see, uncover a few Maccabee secrets. Might still be lingering. Take this extraordinary opportunity to hey, exit train. Dreams. I think Aaron can do this. Not sure. I want legal on my case if she has an asthma attack. That's pretty good notes. Anything else before? What are you looking at? You're doing that before. Did I miss something over here? Locked. 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 Jamie! Over here. Okay, yeah. I'm freaking the fuck out. It's just blood. Just blood? Are you kidding me? You're jumping to conclusions. All we know is something was dragged along this way and it was bleeding. And that's not a cause for concern to you? All right, it's a little odd. Odd? What do you want me to say? Look, it's probably just Dumet or the groundskeeper dragging in some dead animal from outside. Maybe it's our dinner. Dude, you're in denial. Must be in Egypt. Welcome, one and all, to tonight's entertainment. Oh, what the fuck? Presented by Grantham Dumet. Dumet? What? So he hasn't left. This, that, no. So we split off two different ways. Music seems to be coming from down there. something one's worth two and let me buy presidential bank or oh, see FBI bank I first met Agent Monday on October 12th, 1997, at O'Hare Airport when I was assigned to welcome him off the plane. I'd actually met him once before at a lecture on criminal behavior given a few weeks prior here in Chicago, but I doubt he remembered me from that. I was pretty nervous as the new kid on the block. I was just out of training, and I'd been assigned to drive around this big shot criminal profiler who just cracked the Arkansas case, which was all over the national newspapers. My first impressions were that he was tall. It put it down on its own. Our assistance is required in Chicago. They have potential serial killer to victims. So far more anticipated following the access to the Sherman case. I need you to fly out there to investigate. I know you have some time off recently to help with profile training. The detective should be welcoming. I'll fully brief you when you land at O'Hare.
Why don't you go first, Jamie? Dude, it sounds like somebody's struggling on the pod. <laughs> Lovely. Anything else before I open said door? I don't really have a feeling this is a trap. Yeah, if we don't step back, we're gonna get stabbed. Oh my god. Shit, give me your hand. Come on. Damn it. What's happening? What did I do? Let me get the fuck out of here. Now. Charlie. Huh? Let's go. Where's Charlie's hat? Did... Did you see him? The mask? What the hell was that? <clears throat> oh, you're shitting me. We're trapped. Jesus. We're trapped. What do we do? Break the fucking door down. Right. On three. One, two, three. Uh, uh. You hear that? Yes. What is happening? Find your spirit crystal? Don't do that. <laughs> and don't make fun of me. Sorry. Wouldn't want you to cut yourself. The rock is sharp as hell and, you know, super magical. It's an amethyst crystal. It helps keep you calm by blanketing you in protective energy. I know. I yeah. Know. If you know, then don't call it a rock. Maybe I just feel like you should take responsibility of your own emotions and stop outsourcing the job to a crystal. <laughs> Maybe you're right. But you don't have to be an asshole about it. Okay, maybe that was a shitty thing to say. I'm sorry. It's fine. This isn't the time or place to... I have to tell you something. 
Okay. Earlier, you brought up that DP job I blew off. I never told you the truth about it. About what? It wasn't a job, not really. What are you talking about? Remember my friend Murray? He was setting up a studio in Brooklyn, Fine Arts. He wanted a partner. That's your dream. Yeah. There is exactly zero money to made, so I thought you'd tell me it was insane, rightfully. Because it would be. Why the hell didn't you go for it? Why didn't you tell me? Things were already starting to get tough for us. Oh, no, no, no. Don't put any of this on me. This is all you. I know. Who is that in the background? I turned it down because it would have taken me away from you. Oh, it's a mirror. I, I guess I didn't even think of that. I, I just, uh, What do you want me to say? Guess I was holding out for things to change with us. Deep down, I'm still hoping. You should have said all this before. I know. I'm not going through it all again. Whoa, we got a shit ton of stuff. What if this time is different? Oh, come on. That's not likely, and you know it. Sorry. I guess I'm a little confused. We better go. Let's get back to Aaron and get the fuck out of here. Do you think they found Dumet? Charles seems hell-bent on talking to him, so maybe, yeah. Wonder how much pure Amethyst is going for online these days. Amethyst is always kind of a slightly expensive. Yeah, take it with you. Whatever makes you happy, man. As long as it doesn't hurt others. Dude, this... Dude, you're... 184. These hallways are not the same. Going around locking these doors. You met his uh, little helper in the yellow coat. It's not just locking the doors; the hallways are changing. One eighty-two. Really bad, it's already different. Wait. What's that? Is this somebody's idea of a fucking joke? How is this here? Did you bring this? No. Is that her? Yeah. Shelby. Matching nails? God, don't. We always got them done the same. That's him. What? That's him. The guy in the back. You know him? Mm, kind of did. He was just one of those guys that was always around. We would be at some of the same parties, but that's it. It was my fault. You know, that's not true. The night it happened, I was supposed to meet her. We were going to grab some drinks, go to a party. I slept through. 
There's a big deal on campus not to go out on your own. And Shelby waited for me when I didn't show, and that's when it, that's when he got her. It's okay. It's not fucking okay. It can't be. I have to live with it every day, and now someone knows. Someone wanted me to find this. What the hell is that? He's playing on no your idea. fears. But I feel like it's bad. What the hell? Get over here, now! Charlie! <laughs> Hold it. I can't hold this. You have to get the fuck out any way you can. Just get the fuck out! Now! Uh, Jamie! Charlie! What the hell just happened? I, I don't know. But I think it's really, really bad. It isn't moving. So now what? We're fucked. There has to be a way around. Yeah, maintenance corridors, crawl space, has to be. Kids start tearing off the plaster and drywall from the doors. I knew it. The walls and things did not add up. But actually, that makes it a good point for calling it an episode. Thank you guys for tuning in. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Share the video. We're going to see uh, what madness we see in the next episode. Have a wonderful day. Like I said, like, comment, and subscribe. God bless. Peace.